Hi, everybody, and welcome to challenge two of our Coding to Christmas event. Just in case people didn't do yesterday's, so Saf and myself are running this Coding to Christmas challenge where we'll, we'll be giving out a, a new little programming challenge every single work day from, uh, well, I guess, throughout the month of December up to Christmas. Uh, if you did miss yesterday's or you want to know where you can find the questions, there will be a link below the video for everything that you need to know. Uh, we'll be posting the challenges every morning at 9am and then we do these little live videos at 5pm to go through the answer. As I said, all the details down below will give you the challenges as well as the, the videos of where you can actually learn uh, everything that you need to in order to complete the challenge. So without further ado, we're going to switch over to Trinket and have a look at today's question. So this question is all about just doing some maths in Python. So Mrs. Claus wants to reward 120 hardworking elves and she wants to buy them a series of presents. Um, so one present, three baubles and two candy canes. Baubles cost £2.40 for six, candy canes are 10 for a pound, and each present is £5. So it's just trying to use the, the maths functions inside of Python to figure this out. Now, there are several different ways that you can do this. So let's start off with, I guess, the most simplest way, which would be just try to work out the exact cost per elf. So if I create a, a variable name called cost per elf, and then I can here, I can just sort of put some figures in. So I know that they need one present and each present is five pounds. I then know that they need three baubles. So if six baubles cost two pound 40, I know that three would be one pound 20. So I could put that in. And then they want two candy canes, each candy cane, well, sorry, 10 candy canes cost a pound. Therefore I know that for two candy canes, that would be 20 P. So you could do that all in one sort of calculations to work out the cost per elf. And then you could just sort of print out the, the details. So let's just see, let's if we print out the variable cost per elf, run that code. You can see here that it's 6.4, so that would be six pounds 40 per elf. And then obviously you would be timesing that by the number of elves, which is 120. So you get this figure of 768 pounds. So that would be a, a very sort of quick and, and rough way to figure this calculation out. But obviously you've, you've hard coded a lot of values, so it's not very reusable. So instead of doing it that way, let's have a look at perhaps setting up a bunch of other variables and sort of working it out a little bit more, you know, in a little bit more detail. So if we say that there are 120 elves, the presence needed... So the number of presents that we needed equals the number of elves that there are. What else do we need? Then we've got the number of baubles. So how many baubles do we need? So baubles needed equals, I guess it's the number of elves sort of times by three, isn't it? So elves multiplied by three. And then the number of sort of the candy that's needed will be the number of elves times by two. Again, I'm just trying to show you different ways that you can do this. So because it's a calculation, you can put brackets around it. Um, you don't have to, because obviously there is no other calculation to either side, but the brackets do just make it a little bit clearer. You could replace just a value here and just say presently 120 and ignore the elves. So there are lots of different ways that you can do this. And this is probably one of our first examples in this uh, Coding to Christmas where you can do things uh, your own way in, and there's multiple different ways of doing it. So what's the cost of the actual presents? So that's five pounds times by the number of presents needed. So I can put that in and then we're just gonna go down and do the same for each of the items. So number of baubles needed, we know that baubles cost £2.40. Um, and how many do we need there? So number of, it says £2.40 for six. So I'm gonna multiply that 
And this time I am going to require the brackets because I'm going to do another calculation. So it's the number of the baubles needed. So I'm just copying and pasting here to speed things up so I don't have to write it all out. So number of baubles needed divided by six because that's £2.40, you get six baubles. And then finally, the candy costs will be one pounds multiplied by the amount of candy that's actually needed divided by 10 because that one pound gets you 10 candy canes. So again, whenever you're programming, you can always just throw in some print statements just to get an idea um, of what you've got in there. So I could put presence needed, comma, presence cost. So once I've got that print statement in, I could press play again. And at the right hand side, I can see presence needed 120 and the cost to me for that will be 600 pounds. So perhaps I might just do that for these other ones. So let's change this to be baubles needed and the baubles cost. And I can change this bottom one to be candy needed. Oops, we've got a slow variable name error there. So again, that just highlighted yellow because that variable wasn't defined because I mistyped it up here. So what am I after here? This is the candy cost. So when I run that, all of this uh, candy costs, make things simpler, keep everything in lowercase. So these are the different costs now. So I need 120 presents, that's gonna cost me 600 pounds. I need 360 baubles, that'll be 144 pounds and 240 candy canes. That'll be 24 pounds. So the final thing here that we need to do is just print out the message, uh, something like total costs. Uh, we can put a pound signed in and then we're gonna concatenate the value of all of these. So we're gonna go for presents costs plus the cost of the baubles plus the candy costs. Oops, we can spell correctly. I will run that now, see what happens. Oops, I'm getting an error. So once again, you see this big uh, red line here showing me that I've got an error somewhere in the code here. And the error that I've got here is that because I'm doing a concatenation, I can only concatenate two strings together. I can't actually have um, bubbles cost I've also got the variable names slightly wrong so just fix that error with the um, the names of the variables and now it's telling me that this I need to cast to be a string because I can't concatenate a string with a, a float and you'll see here the total cost is printed out on the right hand side it's a little bit small let's make that bigger so total cost there 768 pounds so today's lesson was just all about using some variables to store some values and then doing some maths on it. So join us tomorrow at 9am for the challenge number three. Uh, and we'll see you throughout this entire month live at five o'clock uh, for the day's answers. Thanks a lot and we'll see you soon.